Hey, what's up? It's our first attempt at a commentary. My name is Roller Coaster Rider, and I'm here with my good buddy slash person who will work for free, KD. KD, hey, hey what's up? And we're going to watch this Fox documentary that came out in 1995 called Alien Autopsy Fact or Fiction. Uh, we're just going to talk about it, hopefully with no interruptions. You ready? Yep. The following program deals with controversial subjects. The theories, opinions, and beliefs expressed are not the only possible interpretation. Which means it's false. Are to make a judgment based on all available information. Which means you do what all the work. About to see is real. It's the most startling Jonathan Frakes. Frakes. That's an interesting name. Although we remain skeptical, some experts believe this is authentic. He can read. He can read Dr. Seuss Wheeler and make it look and make it look it serious and be have it be taken seriously. Form. Okay. Some of the footage you will see in the next hour is very He's like a British actor. Stay with us as we put the question. Don't Jonathan, Jonathan Fr no, I said he's like a British actor. Oh. How British actors can make anything silly sound real. If the footage is authentic, that pretty well proves it. We've learned that... He looks tired. Daddy said they looked like the small I, be I believe her. I've seen this. But, um, oh, this actually was okay. Crap. You never did. You ever hear about this? A no. liver over to the right. This came out in 1995, and it was like apparently the most popular thing since and, uh, like the Zapruder tapes or something about like the J a video about uh, JFK or something I think, or, or some other things. Like a UFO like a or something or what? He looks like Steven Spielberg's knockoff. Of That's true. Like a low cost it's Steven Spielberg. Document. It is a document of exceptional importance. If it's a fake, it should be hailed as one of the most extraordinary like from Switzerland? ever put together. No, he, I don't know, he looks like, interesting. No, I'm talking about sound. Oh, yeah, it does sound interesting. Okay, this, this looks cool. Flying saucers. You give, people give junk to Fox, but man, they produced some specials in the 90s and early 2000s. This is the Army Air but then Idol Rob took over Trump and then the... Mexico. Channel went to crap. During World War II, this was the base of the Elite 509 bomb group. The Enola Gay that dropped the atomic bomb on Japan originated from here. Wow. Mm -hmm. The men and women who lived and worked here were used the to keep them secret. Yeah. But in the summer yeah. of 1947, something definitely crashed just outside of town. And 48 years later, it remains a mystery. So this was in 1995. So. In 2017, in we're staying very topical and up to date, right? Yeah, I know. The Army Air Force has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Army officers say the missile found sometime last week. It's odd how that it sounds Mexico, that good from 1947. ET yeah, e. phone home! Sounds really good for 1947. Yeah. I was Maybe it's digitally restored or something. He looks like one of my family members. Police, which stated in essence that we had right now we're t right now they're talking about the um, people that the family members or the, the descendants of people that saw what happened and some of these I I don't know if they're acting or what but I I believe I believe these people. Press release yeah. quickly made the rounds to the radio yeah. networks and evening papers around the country. Because they're just like little people. They they're not profiting from anything. They're just they're just revealing it. In recent months. But it was over almost and if they were began. able to stick to the story for Within years, hours, then Raymond, of the that Air usually Force means something. Charge, issuing a new so. <coughs> OJ. <coughs> it wasn't a flying disc. Hmm. I like being Plus topical with my jokes. Was a weather balloon. The way it was handled, it was a real slick way. Uh, if it was a weather balloon, then they would have shown. Say, yes, we've got yeah, well, a was a flying balloon, saucer and have a general well, who is much more knowledgeable than actually. <clears throat> type of weather balloon. But the residents of Roswell knew it was something more. A lot of people don't balloon. necessarily though associate was on the flying discs with that earlier in time. And it was his job Isn't a weather balloon just like a slightly deflated hot air balloon? Kind of, yeah. That doesn't look like a saucer. When he came in, yeah. he was very excited. He woke my mother and myself up. And That's like saying, hey, this morning. isn't a tennis ball, it's a and slinky. To see what I like being topical with my humor. Okay. And soon I might get to humor. So. It was all brought in and spread out on the kitchen floor. 
Ouch. He and, has a cut. Uh, looked at it. You know, and I, he's, I he looks like he's seen some stuff with the wrinkles. Upper left to look or maybe that's just, or maybe that's just mid nineties Fox makeup. And that's when I saw the uh, the writing. No, or the he got cut. Some sort. No, I'm talking about I the thing up about his eyes. This is hieroglyphics or some kind of writing like that. It certainly looked alien. That does look. This film footage unique. purportedly shows the actual crash debris, carefully cataloged and placed on display. Hmm. It's shown here for the first time anywhere. The debris in the film. Was somewhat different from the three that I saw on the kitchen floor. Certainly, the symbols on the so-called I-beam. This was so larger, highly rated that it reared. That it uh, reared again, was, uh, probably like a month, greatest, a month or so inch, later, uh, to even higher ratings. Twelve to eighteen inches. Considering long. Fox, I'm surprised the they didn't make this an hour-long TV show, or an hour-long weekly TV diameter. show. If this is an authentic film, then it could have come from a different portion of the craft. Uh, actually, the material that I this saw. Is Almost resembles something that could have been blown out through the, uh, through the side. I've heard, like I've seen proof that that black green, and white footage that you just saw was fake. Okay. It was made by Even some British company the called uh, is the metal I don't know, some British music company. With six fingers on each hand. You wonder if that might not have been some sort of control mechanism that they put their hands in the uh, grooves that are made for that. And maybe there's some way they can control the craft just by thought. I wonder if they just found someone with six fingers to just like put it in the concrete or to make a mold because six fingered people they do exist. While researching a book on the incident, author Kevin Randall discovered that more people Here comes the man in black than anyone had ever suspected. I think at last count I had spoken to around four dozen people who handled various aspects of the debris. The most dramatic is the foil-like material that you can wad up in a ball and let it go and it would unfold itself. They tried to burn it and they couldn't burn it. It wouldn't catch on fire and they this, took out This the woman I also believe is telling the truth. Cut it and she's she's cut too it. genuine and as her father, the Roswell fire captain, and his crew she's too choked up. Piece of the strain. Yeah, she seems I pretty convincing. Yeah. To play with it for a while and so far, so every so everyone that they've interviewed has has been I like, for probably about five I believe them. When you would wad it up in your hand, you couldn't feel it in your hand. You couldn't feel you had anything there. It's and like American money size, nowadays. It's so small. <laughs> that Not worth much. You'd <laughs> have to look to see if it was still in your hand, and then when you drop it, it spread out all over the table. Sounds like classified documents. I sincerely <laughs> believe you had the crash of something. Come on, you tell some jokes. Space. No, does it, does it, it crash on the on the in the prairie or on the by the beach? The um, it just crashed in Roswell, and these people on the ranch and these people either down. saw it or yeah, their family member saw it. Mm. Crashed. Frankie Rose's father, one of the first at the crash site, had seen the most convincing proof of all living proof. Daddy came in so excited. It's overly said, dramatic, but it, 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 helps, it works with the tone. There were two bodies that were laying on the ground outside of this craft, and that there was one, <clears> what he called, little person. And he said, there's one little person that was walking around. And he said, they were still alive. And he said Simba, that... Simba, you must go back to Pride the Rock. Two were dead, <laughs> This one that was alive. You remember was Flying sad. King with the, in the clouds? Yeah. My dad would not have gotten excited over a weather balloon. He was not easily excitable. I'm gonna and kick you. I'm thrilled I've ever <laughs> seen him in my life. That's coming up. You're gonna see the actual the alien being cut up. Through his numerous interviews with those connected to the Roswell incident, Kevin Randall has been able to put together a sequence My of events from the time the spacecraft and bodies or were recovered. whatever the theme song is. The best evidence we have from a number of eyewitness sources is that the craft, the bodies were brought to Hangar 84 on the Roswell Army Airfield and stored overnight before transport. What we understand from the eyewitness testimony Would you ever is want the body to go there? was sealed in a large wooden really crate, interesting. Uh, kept at the center of the hangar. It's absolutely brilliant what It's probably did. blocked off or they, something. They announced With they like 100 foot electric saucer, fences or something. But they've already captured it. Because that's a great way to show that there's, there's nothing, nothing to there. See, so nobody goes out looking right. for the thing. Then they shift everything to Fort Worth. 
the higher headquarters says, no, no, those guys made a mistake with just a weather balloon. Fort Worth, Texas, that's the press can't find hours Jesse Marcel away. Because but, he's okay. in Fort Worth, and he's been silenced. You know, when he came back from Carswell, after flying the debris, Carswell? he did tell me not to talk about this, tell my mother so, not to yeah, talk yeah. about this. I've been to Cars so, Land. Land. <laughs> it never happened. Don't even talk about this with your friends, which I didn't. And uh, he, years later, he confided that he was actually part of the company. Even if they said, like, he, don't uh, tell anyone, I still would have just, I still would have blabbed. What you are they going to do? Well, kill me? Then they'll just true. prove that I was right. There's corroborative testimony that suggests somebody was putting pressure on Can you imagine if YouTube was around back then in 1995? I saw an alien, and if I die, you know I'm right. Merely the threat of, of imprisonment, going to jail because they understood they'll be like, that. Dang it, we can't the kill Zionians, them. Was, they were told that if you ever talk about it, you will be killed. In the case of Frankie Rowe, a military officer came to ask her about the strange piece of metal that she had handed. I said, yes, I did handle it. And he started emphasizing, no, you didn't. Why are there, why would a weather balloon have metal? So mm. I'm insistent. Especially yes, in the mid-40s, yes, or the late 40s. Got mad, and he got louder. He had one of those, looks like a small baseball bat that hooks on the side of your belt. He took that out. He's holding it. Is that like nunchucks or, or like Every the thing that cops that use? On his hand. Um, and he would say, I want you to understand, you were never there. She wasn't. You did not see anything. You did not hear a conversation. But uh, you're and talking you to me, you sir. Understand this. There are things that we can do. So we could take you out here in the middle of this desert. He said, this is a big desert here. He said, no one will ever find your bodies, ever. No one will ever know what happened to you. But anyway, so it was a weather balloon. Have a nice day. Stay around or live. As if you promise you'll never talk about this the rest of your life. Oops. So I told them I wouldn't. Till now. The people of Roswell kept quiet about what they saw. I like that. Supposedly, tight she's security. standing up for Everything what she saw. Mm -hmm. Standing up for truth. Justice the and the pursuit of happiness. So, no <laughs> about the <laughs> happiness. Or, or life, or what is that? Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? Yeah. That's what it is. Oh. What is that? Truth, justice, and the human way or something? Or... Can we get a visor? Alien autopsy, the fact the or fiction? Roswell is where the fact alleged crash or happened fiction. Years ago. Was it a flying saucer? Were there alien bodies on board? Was it just a weather balloon, as the Air Force claimed? People still come and look for some kind of He looks of clue, really tired. But the evidence of the alien crash didn't come no, from I just here. think his beard makes him look tired. Revealed. No, I'm talking about under his eyes. Oh. Hello, hello. Hey, it's and England. An alien autopsy is always going to be the subject of ridicule. Who's going to believe an alien autopsy is an alien autopsy? It's just a ridiculous subject. Ray Santilli owns a small music and video distribution company in London. He was acquiring some 1950s rock and roll footage when an elderly American cameraman he had been dealing with said, by the way, I have something else to show you. And, you know, we looked at it, and it was just the most incredible piece of film. And obviously, my first impression is, this can't be real. What Santilli saw and eventually purchased this were reels of black and white film true. showing an autopsy being performed. You naughty parts! Beauty. The cameraman claims to have had a top military clearance, told Santilli that in 1947 he was flown urgently to Roswell, where he filmed the recovery of several of these it, beings, both alive and dead. He should just say who well the, the cameraman is, because I think at this point he's probably he dead. Aside, certain kind of film huh? which he felt there were, were problems. He would have had to have been at least, what, 20? And the rest he sent straight yeah. back to Washington. Um, he would be 57 um, when, he processed, when that was the, filmed, uh, and... If he was uh, born he in, like, say, 1927, he's, to and get to come and pick he's probably over. dead by he now. He kept it in a cardboard box. Simple as that. And he kept it in his archive. The question of, well, is it a hoax, then goes back to the incident itself. What he saw was a disc. Do you believe the incident crash. happened? That an uh, alien did crash? It's very possible. Screaming They're doing a very convincing argument. They're getting the people that well, were there. Um, as you would expect, uh, with anyone of that age, he's got a great deal of memorabilia. 
you know, there's photographs on the wall, there's his photo album, there's his diary. I mean, you, you can see his enrolment papers, his discharge papers. And he's seen. How do British general, people make uh, dumb things sound smart? So why is Antilly unwilling to reveal the Because their accents are very um, sophisticated. Our agreement with the camera was to protect his privacy. Hello, I'm British, and you know what? I sound sense. smart. If I can sound. I can solve the economy. Just hop it in a circle uh, and uh, sing "Merrily Had a Little Lamb" to a car wash. Uh, Why didn't I think of that? That makes perfect sense. A spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. Hey, yo, a spoonful of sugar? Helps the medicine go down. Daddy, she scares me. That guy looks like he's something out of the 80s. He's got some big glasses. He's in a... Let's be in the time loop. This is the mo most momentous event in, in human hey, if history. it works, who cares, huh? And he owes it to mankind to tell his story. I'm going to bet you, and I've been doing this business for 30 years, that this man probably lives somewhere He could so easily have a career in Hollywood playing a villain. Like, I'm not going to kill William you. C. I'm Deer. just going to hurt you. And I can you make sure to take a look that at. I can get away I, I with it. I have to tell you, he's quite hmm? skeptical. Is there a cameraman? Does he really exist? Doesn't he look like he, he could exist? play like a villain and in movies? Yeah. Really like he could be uh, a... Like he could be a James Bond... Well, maybe not a James Bond film, but maybe like a Jason we Bourne villain, or maybe out. like a uh, uh, DC no, not, or Marvel not, villain, not, maybe, or something? Or, 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 or a situation like that. You know, one of those ones. He could be a Transformers villain. You know, besides Michael Bay. This film we're about to show you is either the first documentary evidence that an alien being visited our planet, or it's one of the most ambitious and fantastic frauds ever put on film. The alleged cameraman claims he shot the footage at Fort Worth Army Air Base. In a letter, he explains to us that one of the aliens discovered near Roswell had been secretly flown there for further study. Hmm. This could be the world's first look at an actual being from another planet. You are watching the autopsy of what some say. Why would they send Sir part of an alien's Both body? Sun, the 17 minute film is as dramatic as any science fiction thriller to come out of Hollywood. But this may not be a filmmaker's fantasy. I wonder if NASA well could digitally real. restore it or screen rise up and reveal what actually happened. Because they've done it with Isla Fusi, haven't they? Like colorized or something? Features. A third person wearing a mask watches from behind the glass partition. Is this indeed a top secret military autopsy performed on an alien in 1947? Like with any mystery, you need to hear from If it's an alien body, how methods. do they know where the privates Bring are? The experts. Maybe Birth it might be a eunuch or a Barbie doll or something. Or not a Barbie doll, a Ken doll or something. And the skin color was a pink. Kind of a gray test. Pink and gray, how is that possible? The size, the shape of the eyes, that was all pretty well fit. The nurse that was supposedly there described uh, an individual that may have looked somewhat like the uh, individual that was being on top. The large head, the black eyes. I think she described four fingers rather than six. So there's a discrepancy or a difference there. According to Frankie Rowe, her father discovered three beings still alive at the crash site. He kept saying, there's no need for us to be afraid. They're not here to hurt us. And he said that he really felt badly. Then how did he how did he know what the aliens we said? We couldn't help them. The cameraman writes Is it like here, drink this language TV. juice like uh it was John crying, Carter or something? Box close to his chest. They cried louder as we approached, he writes. Or like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy or whatever. Loose the box by hitting the being with the butt of his rifle. Very sorry for whoever yeah, that's that a box. great thing to do to someone with future technology. Tick them off. World, Insert but, political joke here. Their family will never Do you have anything back. to say? Never go back home. This is just very. Of this could all be a story um, that the cameraman made up. The word and I was Interesting. Reliable, um, when Fifty years old. What you know, what if it's true? Determine whether what we see is oh. a true historical document or a clever fabrication. We looked closely at some of the objects in the room. Our purpose to determine whether they even existed in 1947. The wall clock. The General Electric model is indeed from the 1940s. And that black phone with the heavy receiver and the curly cord is a Bell Standard model from 1937.
though they could all be purchased later, their presence in the room is nonetheless consistent with the time period. How much do you think that this would cost to recreate itself. nowadays? Can it be dated? Mm. We took the film to Larry Kate, who spent 16 years in the manufacturing division of Kodak. You could... He's the Kodak company, and trying to distinguish the age of the film, okay. keeps track of the date of manufacture. And this is done through geometric codes, and the symbols on the edge code were a square and a triangle, which were used in Rochester, New York, by Eastman Kodak Company to denote the following years of manufacture, 1927, or 1947, or 1967. So the film stock itself could be from 1947. What about the way it was shot? What can the very look of the film reveal about its authenticity? It would make much sense to think that, yes, this film could have been shot in the late 40s, early 50s. Paolo Kerke Uze, Is there a chance that they found some video from 1967 and, and then New just York. taped over it? I'm often yeah, asked I think there would how be a bit of it is to bang a film. See the answer it's is no. Not authentic. A motion picture that needs it. it would require an amount of technical know-how, of sophistication, that would make the operation not worthwhile. I have to say, I feel that what we've seen here is a hoax. Alan Davio. Is hey, it's Zach Galifianakis in five years. He was the director <laughs> of photography on E.T., Bugsy, Empire of the oh, Sun. the dude for E.T. Davio is a I have not seen those movies yet. Yeah. Maybe I should. Out of focus, as if hide, would may not Bugsy? Be what we're seeing here is... I haven't even seen E.T. and I feel terrible. Should I see it with the guns or with the flashlights? Yeah. It just doesn't make sense that... He would go in and make no adjustment on the focus. The fact that it lost focus is consistent with uh, the type of... Why would the cameraman be in the Robert autopsy? Ryan wouldn't he, wouldn't it make more sense to be like behind the de the behind the, uh, behind the glass? Behind the cameraman for the Navy. He photographed the most secret government projects during the 40s and 50s, including the atomic bomb tests at Bikini Atoll. Yeah, but those don't go in and out Cameras of focus. Those are like clear and those are like clear and perfect. I like that he has a uh, camera, not what is it a picture picture so video camera focus, thing? Has uh, there could that's be like the that's like being at Disney, being interviewed at Disneyland wearing a Mickey Mouse ears, you know? And, uh, that it was simulated rather than real footage from 1947. Davio was also suspicious of the film's authenticity because of the photographer's apparent inability to get the best shots. There's one case in particular where they're sawing the skull, where the person operating the camera continuously moves to a place repeatedly that he's not going to see anything, the doctor's back, and, and doesn't make the effort to go wouldn't around the other side Wouldn't you be behind? Wouldn't you, wouldn't you try to, like, stay outside of view. the view he keeps moving, to get a good uh, shot? To keep out of the way of the surgeon. Uh, if you look at the uh, the surgical, uh, if he was doing, if he was uh, like trying also. to stay and, uh, stay out of the shot, just, why was he even uh, in the room? To be, why uh, they even hire a camera guy? We've had this out with the camera because if nothing else, his integrity in terms of camera work is the only thing that's actually forced the comment out of him because people have criticised the camera work. The cameraman was dressed in the same outfits as the surgeon, that's a, so he was restricted in his movement, and he said that the handheld camera was standard, you know, standard issue at that time. Um, they didn't treat it any different because it was either an, you know, an experiment or an alien creature. The role of a photographer in the military is usually to record an event. It is not his job to do pretty pictures. Then why is he and there? This, I, I think, was a very adequate job. He should have been there to film the event. Say, there's some terrific work done here, but I do not believe that this is a real event that I'm seeing. Every fake I've seen. The impression of fate comes up to me. Hmm. Let's put ourselves in the position of someone who decides to make a fake. Why in the world someone would invest such an amount of money, of efforts, of reason said to put together a 23 minutes film of this kind? To get the dollar dollar bills, y'all! It doesn't make sense. Let's say the film is from 1947. Kodak says that's possible. And it looks like an army photographer could have shot it. That doesn't mean this isn't a hoax. But how far would someone have to go to stage it? Camera tricks are one thing. But how do you fake the flesh and blood body of an alien? Especially one that's about to be cut open. Spooky. Is this really an autopsy of an alien being? Who knows? Or is it something else? A dummy? A deformed human? An incredible hoax. 
find out, we showed the film to two of the world's leading pathologists. And I have to issue a warning at this point. What you are about to see is extremely graphic. Extremely graphic. Chris Melroy is a senior. How would they know it's an alien? At the University of Sheffield in England. Is that mm. Yeah. Saw off his head or something. I'm gonna dissect an earthworm. Parental discretion advised. Well, you should watch Zero that one time. I have I've seen Saw films. I've seen Human Centipede. I've seen Human Centipede. I have never performed an autopsy on any The third one is even scarier. even closely resembles the being that we see on the film. That's painful. Well, the ears are no set. They're below the position that one would expect to see in a normal human being. This strange creature that some are saying comes from outer space has been the popular conception of an alien kid. The huge head and its large eyes are familiar that's possible? in movies mm -hmm. about otherworldly visitors. And it has other bizarre features not common to humans. There are six fingers on each hand, and there are also six toes on each foot, a condition known as polydactyly. And that's seen that affects, in various that kinds people. of chromosomal or and genetic And you can surgically add a finger. Defects. You can surgically you remove a finger. Male genitalia. Therefore, all the indications I don't see any genitalia. Female Parental discretion advised. But without any secondary sexual development. In other words, there are no developed breasts. Weck's initial reaction was that we were looking at a woman with Turner's syndrome. The chromosomal I said this. I said this to uh, female births. To uh, the K. You were know. Lacking feminine chromosomes did not develop sexually. However, I said it. To, I said it to K. And. And she was like, what are you talking about? What's Turner? So I was like, sexual chromosomal chick that doesn't have abort breasts. spontaneously. In other words, they're just not born. So one of the things that I would think of is the possibility of a very, very rare Turner's Syndrome baby that managed to survive well into the teens. But Turner's syndrome Would it be possible that this could just have been a boy there and they the just like and did a sex change died. later? Can this extraordinary diversity of maybe she maybe it died while trying to get a uh, be surprised female to find area? something with this pattern of abnormalities. I would think it would be very rare, but I wouldn't be surprised if someone said that this had been described somewhere in the medical literature. Not only is the body being examined, that could have happened. It'd but be some of the very interesting. Behind their contamination suits. As respected teachers, both Wecht and Milroy have trained hundreds of doctors. They know how a real autopsy is conducted versus what would give away an amateur or even an actor. They are either pathologists I've seen, or they're uh, surgeons who have future a fair stories. Of I've seen this future stories about this video that reveals more information, but I kind of want I, I want to go in as like if we were watching it in 1995, how we would have thought about it and how you would and how you've thought about it because you've never seen this. No, right at all, never saw it. Ever. Somewhat sunken tray. This was probably very hyped in the mid 90s, probably. Years ago. We don't see uh, these things around very much today, if at all. Basic procedures that were being carried out are those. You could probably make good molds of them. There are certain Possibly. questions that I have to ask Did he... about procedures. I don't know the... if the internet I mean, was around. Was the internet around in ninety five? Mm, yeah. Whether you would was spend eBay two invented? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Surely spent. Or they probably would have had to go to many, many garage sales, or they would have had to have some connection to a uh, hospital just to borrow some of these things. I do. I did. I talked over it, but it would be interesting about how they only spent an hour and a half. They would spend like days, weeks, months, or okay, it's the government decades. <laughs> Decades to add a band aid, there probably. Is really only one major injury, and that is to the right thigh. This looks almost like the kind of an injury you might get. This looks, if it you looks more on the left thigh. An incendiary kind of a That's missile. Not, anyway. Unless, for whatever reason, there was some kind of treatment going on for a that, malignancy she, or something having part of me to do is glad with it's experimental in work on radiation or burns. Uh, and you have that massive destruction of I've that area. I think I've seen videos about like people with like cuts that are like like half that are like half gone and would be would very terrible. And 
radiation could that. be the cause of the being's death and also its freakish deformities. Remember, Roswell, where the body was supposedly found. They probably could have added some padding in the mid nineties. Would that be possible? Like some, yeah. like some uh, silicone, silicone on the top. Who had a malignancy, probably of the ovaries, with the cervix, the uterus. Uh, who it then like seeing radiation like treatment? The insides, that's so. a possibility that we should keep in mind. But that would not explain, as far as I'm concerned, obviously the polydactyly. That's not going to make toes and fingers grow. That would not explain the disproportionately large head. And the large head, they could have added the silicone as well. Large orbital the, they could have, that, they could have added silicone to that too to enlarge it, or they could have added Maybe rubber. Find the answer to the mystery with the dissection. That's when they take their examination. This is kind of creepy, but do you ever think they might have taken I out the eyes and then put in like a cow's eyes or something? To abdominal mm -hmm. contents. Those are much the larger, liver, and chances liver, are, you know, farmers would have no use for them the if right. a cow was to, a mass, or a that I meat plant if a cow was like, you know, and, uh, I have great used. In they wouldn't need the eyes. They could just like go to some garbage or dumpster or some slaughterhouse and just like Get some eyes. This is a structure that must be the brain if it is a human being. It looks like no brain that I've ever seen, whether it's a brain filled with tumor, a brain but that how... radiated, a brain that has been traumatized and is hemorrhagic, but it's outside of the body. What, what showed if the they brain, were to... to the brain, the how, how would they put all of the stuff in the body? I Do you have a theory on that? would have to I say, have as, as, as my theory. As it is for me to say it. Okay. My I theory say it, is that what I have seen here, they, uh, it's, it's kind of like a, um, what, I don't what know is this? Really I would prefer it. to say for the time being that it is humanoid. I'm not going to say it is from, from the back of the head down planet, to like know. the tush. They but probably like I cut it open that way that and just hollowed it out and the then race, put in, you know, all of this like weird stuff. They could have put in like, they could have put in like, uh, pudding a with like chicken stock or something. Okay. How hard would it be to make a dummy that they could have just put in. So uh, no one is better. At tricking they could have just put in silicone, and that would have that would have also created worked. some of the most lifelike creatures to come okay. out of Hollywood. He built the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. That scared me. And Jurassic appropriately kid. enough, the extraterrestrial predators of aliens. I have not seen any of those alien movies. I think I might have, I say, I might have seen Prometheus, but if I did, I don't remember. That's discount Steven Spielberg right there. Not real. He looks like Steven Spielberg, doesn't he? body that someone had created as a prop when we started the autopsy. The ears, those could have probably been surgically lowered. it is. Or well, those could just be like some prop years. That's possible. To actually if they're spending money on all of these other props, they could have, you know, at it and low myself, ear, cheap ears. Isn't real. You can get cheap noses. Uh, I would be real or you can, like those disguised noses, you could... Like that, myself today. Fact, to that looks like a leaf. Here in the studio as to Come on, talk about it. This is like... Boom! Boom! Bam! 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 The question is whether or not we could do this if it weren't real. And uh, let's take it back to just before the cut. The organic quality of the, the legs, the feet. Get a haircut. Looks very good. Mm -hmm. You see how uniform the blood is on the inside surface of the skin, and the amount of drippage down the side where it's uniformly wet on the inside, but I mean, we never were able to do that. All right, let's fast forward to the to the skull. Yeah, this is pretty incredible. As a, if it's a they don't show bottom. the point is they don't show the bottom half it's of the business. of the I alien. Yeah. So if I they so if you use have. your common sense Very and you can see the top, you can see to the skin. sides. What's left? And how to create this? On the bottom. Exactly. And how to create that on a skull? Those could be well, cow eyes. And these people are talking about what they're creating in the 90s versus yeah. something that happened in the in 47. But they also said, like, could we do this in the 40s? You don't see blood, it's just all evenly. This could have also been made in 67, remember? And 
when we're talking 1947, we're talking about how edits were done because Birth of a Nation was a technical masterpiece in 1915 for edits. I question whether silent films were around in the 40s. Were they? Because I can tell you, because I know that there were cartoons in the 40s that were in color that had uh that had voice and had audio so well they didn't get color till later though no in 1940 yeah there was in the 40s yeah there was my hats off to i thought that was later or the poor alien is dead on the table uh I might make you do this, but there were some Bugs Bunny cartoons that were around in the third in the thirties. The first Bugs Bunny cartoon in nineteen forty was in color, or the first official. We know when he entered the service. We know that he was in the service for ten years. With a detailed profile constructed, Bill Deere set his team of investigators in motion. That's going to be a really important thing for us to follow up on because nineteen fifty five and the fact they're still in existence is going to give us some credibility as far as more files. It gives us something to look at. So let's pay particular attention to that. Polio? Has the oh, he has the polio. Army, Air Force, you've got it for the Marine Corps. And Michael, you can take Universal News. I called this morning on the history section of the military base. We, we could try Carswell. Carswell still has a good library. Now we're able to take all of that information. If the government could figure out a way to explain how all of this is just a is a hoax, then the right that would just completely like deflate any thought so about that is part of the profile any food. thought about um, Roswell. That and place that into that the fact that they haven't can of food. either says sitting on my desk is can. either says there was an Silver alien light. or and the only thing that we're lacking now they is a picture of our camera. They either don't think that they can be Within they can hours, explain it had a tip that or they don't think it's worth exploring Florida, they have some knowledge of the cameraman's identity he immediately set out for the airport to catch a plane to Florida to meet with the tipster probably the man first class. who was reluctant to be identified on television agreed to meet deer in a public place like our mystery cameraman Denny's product placement top secret mm. military clearance and was present at many of the same secret events. Oh, well, we're sitting at a bar, and this guy. I this couldn't have cost more than three million dollars. Why'd they have to get product placement from Denny's? I like some Denny's food. Okay, well, don't get me wrong. Know, right? Right? Um, they say the aliens. Denny's has got a lot of good stuff. Boom, that was it. Moons it's over. Toast. What is it? Moons over my hammy or something? Right. And there's like that. Uh, oh, what is that? The grilled like cheese bubble. mozzarella stick sandwich. The two, four, the two four six eight thing. I would love to do like the all you can eat pancakes for like two or four bucks and just like constantly eat, 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 and eat. But I, but man, pancakes I would get so tired of after like the first five. Plus, you know for a fact that they'll just they'll just make them every like fifty minutes because God forbid they ever make pancakes within ten minutes. It's not like here we are. It's not like here at home. It's not like here at our house. If all of a sudden somebody picks up the phone and calls me and says, "Mr. Deer, I saw the story. I know who you're talking about, and this is who he is." There's so many open questions. I think they should have done a part two to about all of the people that did responses. Did a UFO crash and burn in the Mexico desert? Could aliens have been curious about our newly developed nuclear technology? What does the government know? What aren't they telling us? We'll never know until the secrecy surrounding the Roswell incident finally ends. When will it finally end? He is such a good he is such a good host speaker. It's like he has that Jonathan Frakes charm. And now you know a bunch of Star Trek fans are going to like spam us and report us because like, oh, you're talking about him. What about John Luke Picard or what about Captain Kirk? I haven't seen any of the classic Star Trek movies. I haven't even seen the Star Trek show, so yeah, he upset at me. Have you? Yeah. Which ones have you? The TV shows or the movies? Did you see the first one? Yeah. Did you see uh, Wrath of Khan? Essentially, of a government yeah. cover-up. Oh. The response I got was... Rathacon is supposedly, like, 
one of the best action movies ever, but I'm worried it's going to be like a Star Wars thing where I've seen where like the famous Khan has been done to death so many times, and I've seen parodies of it. So in other words, I thought I was getting run around. It was like when I was seeing like four and five. Shift and all about the Luke, I am your father, and no, and all of the that stuff. Hello, I am R2D2. These aren't the droids they're 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 looking for. Explanation of what crashed in Roswell back in 1947. <laughs> 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 They have disavowed the weather balloon. Hey, JJ, story, what's up? But they say that it was then a uh, different kind of balloon, a special balloon. Can you give me some water? No? So okay. Now that the uh, government the had said that it was odd, Soviet but not alien. Yeah. The but then why don't they say uh, what it is? The Air Force has ever explained yeah. what took them so long. I, to, so yeah, either they don't uh, care, the or they're actually the hiding something. Or, On July 28th, 1995, yeah. GAO issued its report on Roswell. It had requested classified and unclassified records from the Department of Defense, the FBI, the CIA, the Department of Energy, and the it's White House. It's a party in the CIA. Yeah, with the exception yeah. of the FBI teleton and a Roswell Airfield newsletter, both of which referred to the account of a weather balloon. None of these agencies claimed to have any information on Roswell. Schiff had asked the GAO to track down all outgoing messages from the Roswell Army Airfield to military higher-ups in the summer of 1947. The GAO's findings, all these outgoing messages have been destroyed. Why would you not make duplicates? That the records, in fact, were destroyed. Can't duplicates? Ago, so there's couldn't not they have existed the before you did anything? Say, what happened to these records? And so the GAO oh, has simply no yeah. further recommendations or ideas on how to go farther. The only records we're talking about being destroyed are communications from Roswell Army Airfield, the 509th only atomic bombing group in the world out, out moving messages. How about the analysis of the materials? How about the autopsy reports? How about the eyewitness testimony from those who stood guard, those who carried it, those who tested at various government labs? There ought to be a ton of other paper. Stanton Friedman and other researchers believe that the complete file in Roswell still remains hidden. It's a file they believe that includes documentary evidence of a crash of a flying saucer and the autopsy the alien found within. There is no question that film exists of the autopsy. When you have an event like this, you're going to film every aspect of it. We've been told by people who participated yeah, why in would you only film like on the, 17 the minutes field and the impact site that photographs were taken. Film Even was nowadays, taken. autopsies can All take this hours. Exists yeah. somewhere. Is this film Head part of the take or is it simply a hoax not even connected to Roswell, but that some are hoping is real in their eagerness to find answers to this 50-year-old mystery? I see nothing in this picture which leads me to believe we're dealing with aliens as opposed to earthlings with peculiar characteristics. The wreckage doesn't look like anything I've seen from descriptions of wreckage by witnesses I trust. Uh, I can find nothing to link it. It doesn't seem to me that somebody has put together a gigantic spoof here. If they have, boy, they're wasting their time in, in engaging in some small ripoff like this. They should be in Hollywood making some fantastic films with Steven Spielberg or something. That's true. I feel like I'm yeah, watching Animaniacs. You came to me <laughs> and said that you created this illusion. You'd be working here like that. My guess is that this was done by somebody strictly for money. I think eventually it will be shown to be a hoax, but by that time, uh, Santilli will have collected his royalties from the different television companies throughout the world, and he will have made uh, the majority of his sales of videos. If it's a true document, it is a document of exceptional importance. If it's a fake, it should be hailed as one of the most extraordinary He things did say that together. a few frames from 1947 are in this, are in this, are in the video. Is this video. a real encounter with another civilization? A bizarre human experiment. Hey, it's only 45 minutes. Jonathan Fritz, can you pad it out a little production. more? We don't claim to have the answer. But he by consulting with film experts, eyewitnesses, pathologists, but he's been saying, some of Hollywood's top is movies, it true fact or is it fiction? Mm -hmm. Is this alien autopsy really fact or fiction? 
until we know more. You'll have to decide. I think it's probably more of in the middle. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still undecided. What if? What if? What if the alien is real? Let's consider. Okay. He was an explorer, perhaps a scientist. Crashed and died on a distant blue planet, light years from his home. A frightened race of beings found his lifeless body, performed experiments, and hid the results. Kay, can you get that phone? Come to our planet. Or what? See aliens calling us. Obviously, his own mission failed. The phone home. In his death, he may have delivered the most important message mankind has ever received. We are not alone. I'm Jonathan Franks. I be watchful. Part of me, I've never been, you know, completely against the idea of aliens. But there's a lot of stuff out there that is that isn't ex that I can't explain. Yeah, um, there is. I would go with that. I there's. I think the Lactus Monster exists. You got, I'm gonna lose some viewers and probably get a lot of laughs and spam. But that's my thought. I don't know about the Lactus Monster, but I've seen. There's been too many things. Like if something is going on that long, then it. Then it clearly, there's something clearly about it. So, do you think the alien that alien autopsy video is real, or do you think it's a hoax? I think mo. I think I'm gonna use a stupid pun here. I think it's to be like Jonathan Frakes. It's beyond belief because some of that stuff can be faked. You can buy a bunch. Of, you can buy a bunch of props. You can get a bunch of molds. You can just. And if you film it in black and white, it doesn't matter the color. Like, you can get a pink, green, blue, purple. True. Maybe polka dot might be a little tough. But, but... they really did a good job, though, if it was yeah. pokey. I always think, though. They probably spent, like, I don't know, probably several million dollars. Like, today you could probably hoax that stuff because there's stuff like eBay and, yeah, there's eBay and, like, Etsy and, like, uh, Craigslist and stuff. But... Back then, eBay, I don't know if those sites exist. Those sites I don't didn't. Think so. Craigslist especially didn't exist. Etsy didn't exist. You'd have to go to like a bunch of garage sales and you'd have to go to. How would you even know if some of these. And you'd have to like go to a bunch of like auctions of like closed hospitals. You'd have to raid hospitals. Yeah, it would be hard to. And, especially, and especially about uh, the hospitals. How many of them do you think to use these things that were around in the forties, even even in the, or even in the sixties? Not many. I don't know. I'm perplexed. People are saying it's a hoax, and I've said how I think it could be hoaxed. But how could you how could you put if you did you could have done it if you did it in 1967. Not all of the stuff. Some of the stuff would have been like 20, 25 years old. You might have been able to get it cheap, but I don't know if hazmat suits were around in the in 1967. I don't know. Camera, you know, you're not seeing what the camera is, so that could be just a regular handheld camera. That could be, you know, any type of camera, so that's possible. Uh, the clocks and stuff, if you've got a pack rat or somebody, you could have gotten that. You could have gotten the phone. Um... But you would have to get someone who is like, who has connections to the morgue or like connections yeah. to a funeral home, and you would have to. Well, technically, you'd be if you added a bunch of silicone and rubber, you could hide it to where the family wouldn't even know it was like someone who had passed, like True. a dead family member. But those guys were meticulous in what they were doing. It's like, oh my goodness. What to what people? The people in the video, they were meticulous when they were. Yeah, they were the using they were using everything. the handsaw and they, but they were they seemed to be very they. What was odd was that they were kind of careful when they were just like slicing it on the side, but then they're using the handsaw. Wow. Well, or they're using a saw. The skull. Yeah, but, and then they like peel apart the eyelids, which they looked like wet leaves, if you ask me. 
So, I think uh, part of it was hoaxed. Um, but, jeez, oh, I don't know. You no, know, it's got to be either true or untrue. What's your thought? I don't know. It's. Do you agree with me? Where part of it is true, where part of it is real. The one thing that always makes me skeptical about aliens is if they live so far away, why would they resemble us? They don't resemble us. They do. They look like a human. It's just that their head and their they've got an extra finger. I mean, it totally like kicks the kicks to like theories of evolution and creationism it, it it makes all that stuff go out of the the wazoo maybe it's because like, then how did that happen maybe it's like a bizarro alternate maybe it's like a bizarro other dimension i don't know but i just would think if there are aliens which there could be that they would probably look completely different and not be any form of what we are because we're so far away so you think they look like the great kazoo so <laughs> it could it could be <laughs> like you, the chair did you get that or, reference or did yeah you? or or like i am the great kazoo the something great kazoo. else dumb dumb so i don't know i just i'm perplexed well I'm pretty much out of things to say. Are you out of things to say? Can Pretty much. Can you say a few more things so we can get to 51 minutes? Well, I, I guess I would say that, you know, I'm probably thinking that there's the possibility. And we're done. Those were I'm good. kidding. Those were really good actors. I don't think... Jonathan Frakes was the only actor. Everyone else was like an, was like an unknown or like it was yeah. like a genuine thing. It was like an interview. Yeah, well, the actors within the the film. Oh, those actors. Yeah, the the doctors who did the autopsy. Do you want me to film the? Do you want to do commentary about how uh, Fox did a later special where they talked about it? Hmm? Maybe at a different time. Sure. Okay. Uh, I'm Rollercoaster Rider. KD. Adios. Bye.